Sam Bill Soccer guys, welcome to this episode of The World Around Us. In this video, we're going to we're gonna do a heat exchange again where we've got a hot thing and a cold thing and they mix and we find the final temperature. This is a, a very common uh, heat exchange question is find the final temperature where blah 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 all right so in order to make this math a little more um, a little more easy to follow I'm, I'm gonna make up substances with uh, with with nice round specific heats rather than whatever the real specific heats are fractions decimals whatever we're just gonna have specific heats that we can work with so we're just gonna call it substance A and substance B so we're going to go up here, we're going to, we're going to say substance A, and then we'll say substance B. Mass, specific heat, initial temperature, and we're supposed to find the final temperature. So T sub F is the thing that we're looking for. Those are question marks. The mass, let's say the mass of substance A, let's say is 20, and let's give it a specific heat of 15 and an initial temperature, let's say 300, and it's going to cool off. This will be the, the heat loss side. And let's go over here and let's say the mass is 40 and give it a specific heat of 20 and initial temperature. 100 is a nice round number. All right, let's remember that. The formula for energy is Q equals MC delta T, where delta T is the absolute value of the final temperature minus the initial temperature. And we can handle this absolute value part by, by arranging our, our formula so that the, we know this one's going to cool down, so we'll put that one in in the in the minus sign first. We can handle that. Also, let's remember that heat lost equals heat gained. All right, and if heat is mc delta t, then the mc delta t for the loss side is equal to mc delta t for the gain side. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write mc delta T equals MC delta T. And you're thinking, why did I leave the space there? I left the space there for the, because I got to plug in for delta T. MC, open parentheses, the initial temperature minus the final. MC, open parentheses, the final temperature, which is what we're looking for, minus the initial. Now we're going to take these numbers and plug them in. M is 20 times 15 times initial temperature is 300 minus T sub F, that's what we're looking for, equals 40 times 20 T sub F is what we're looking for. T sub F minus initial temperature is 100. At this point, at this point, we got number, 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 variable, number, 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 variable, number. We're just doing some, we're going to multiply. 2 times 15 is 30, add a 0. So 2 times 15 is 30. 30 add a 0 is 300. Got 300 times 300 minus T sub F. 4 times 2 is 8, add two zeros. So now I have 800 times T sub F minus 100. Multiply, 3 times 3 is 9, add four zeros. 9, 300 times T sub F is 300 T sub F. 800 times T sub F is 800 T sub F. 8 times 1 is 8, add 4 zeros. Ah, that's a lot of zeros. I'm, I'm going to run out of, I'm going to run out of ink. Maybe before I run out of battery, who knows. I'm going to divide everything by 100. I'm going to get rid of two of the zeros. That's going to give me 900 equal, minus, 900 minus 3 T sub F equals 8 T sub F minus 800. Now, if you're using real specific heats, you're not going to get the convenience of dividing by 100. That's just the fortunate. But for the algebra purposes, it's a lot clearer to see. 900 minus 3, 
eight and, and minus eight hundred. So if I if I bring the eight over, that's going to be nine hundred plus eight hundred, and then I'm going to take the minus three over. It's going to be eight plus three. So I'm going to have nine hundred plus eight hundred equals eight t sub f plus three t sub f. Nine and eight is seventeen hundred. And I'm out of room. Equals 11 T sub F. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 11, and that's going to give me T sub F. And if I divide both sides by 11, I get, I, I, I got a note, 154.5454 repeated equals T sub F. And I know at this point you're saying to yourself, I am so glad you typed all that out on the screen because I can't read it. I know that's what you're saying. Also, I hope you're saying, aha, I understand how to find the final temperature given initial temperature, mass, and specific heat. If you have the initial temperature, the mass, and the specific heat, plug the numbers in, and you can do this little algebra thing, and then you do the, and the combined terms. It's really not that hard. It's just, you know, it's a lot of algebra. And if you don't like algebra, don't let that be an excuse to not like science. Like science anyway. The, the battery is about to go, so I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. You know, how many of these episodes end with me complaining about the battery dying? This one was fast, though. It's only like seven minutes. What was I saying? Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, all that stuff. If I hadn't had to do this three times, it would have still been hot.